Let's talk about the playoff picture. Welcome back to an all-new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you for hanging out. After the Lions' victory over the Saints, uh, the playoff picture is becoming a little bit more clear. So I just kind of wanted to break it down for you guys and uh, see what we got going on here. Lions at 9-3. Lions are sitting at 9-3, which you look at last year after the stretch of Thanksgiving, what we had to do uh, to get to 9-8. and eight. It's pretty wild seeing that turnaround and where this team is at. At the moment, you got Detroit sitting at 9-3, and three, leading the division, followed by you have both the Packers and the Vikings sitting at 6-6, six and six, still in the hunt for a divisional spot. It is possible uh, if the Lions find themselves stalling out, which defensively speaking, we are having some serious trouble. So, uh, Lions got to figure out what's going on on the defensive side. Got to gotta tighten up and <laughs> not lose any more guys. You know, the injury bug becomes a thing for all teams at this point in the season. But when you're looking at it right now, uh, you've got the Lions leading our division. After that, you've got the Eagles at 10-2, and two, the Niners at 9-3, and three, and then Atlanta sitting at 6-6. Six and six. The NFC South being just abysmal in every capacity. The fact that one of those teams gets a home playoff berth is, uh, well, kind of a bummer for everybody else. It's funny because up to really... After that LA Chargers game, I was really looking at what looked at the the cushiest part of our schedule. However, the Chargers, that was a shootout. The Bears gave us a run for our money that we should have lost that game, but the boys, boys found a way to win, followed by Green Bay, embarrassed us, and then we blew it. We could have won that game, made some bonehead calls. We blow it. And then yesterday against the Saints, you got the Lions up 21 points, and we faltered and we stalled, and we really struggled. But thank God for the turnaway, uh, turnovers for Sam Laporta, Jalen Reeves-Maben, who had a heck of a game, uh, Jack Campbell, all the boys. We were able to close it out, but... Here the Lions are at 9-3, and three, and coming up we have Chicago, and I have said it 25 times or more on this podcast, where there is Justin Fields, there is a way against the Lions. Justin Fields always just gives us a run for our money. And so we've got the Bears this week, followed by Denver, who is on a roll, who's looking hot, the Vikings, which I'm not afraid of, Dallas, and the Vikings Five games left. Five games left for the Lions to clinch the division. Now, when you look at this, the Lions have nine wins at the moment where the Packers and the Vikings are both sitting at 6-6. Six and six. If, let's just say, because the Packers have the easiest schedule, in my opinion, they go Giants, Tampa Bay, Carolina, Minnesota, Chicago. Let's just say the Packers win out. That puts them at 11 W's. So for the Lions, if we want to try to clinch that spot, 12 W's is the best way, which means we need to win three of our next five games. Those three, to me, where I look at it, should be Chicago, should be the Broncos, should be the first game against the Vikings. You do that, you clinch your division. If the Lions can win their next three, you clinch the division. But the biggest thing is going into it one game game at a time one game at a time focusing on Chicago and Chicago only and winning that game Justin Fields again always gives me poise and uh or, or cause for pause so this is a huge game it's in Chicago it's the last outdoor game of the season for the Lions gotta win it now again the Packers are picking up steam Packers Jordan Love starting to look really good uh they're cruising they have a 4 and 8 giants coming up next that should be a win should be a win followed by a 5 and 7 Tampa Bay this is a Tampa Bay team that is fighting for the division as well their division then it's Carolina should be a win then it's Minnesota and Chicago one of those two games could be the split really what we need is for Green Bay to lose one of these games minimally because then that'll cap that'll that'll get them to 10 W's. Then the Lions only got to put up two. The Vikings have it a lot worse. They got to play Las Vegas, followed by Cincinnati, 
followed by us here in Detroit, then Green Bay, then in uh, Detroit again. So really, the two teams that we're looking at, it's the Packers that are going to give us the biggest problem for the division. However, if the Lions can solidify three Ws, that clears everything. If not, we need the Packers. They lose. We lose. Hey, no harm, no foul. Obviously, we want that W. But looking at our schedule, man, it's going to get dicey here. It's going to get dicey. Every game matters. And the Lions have an opportunity for the first time in 30 years to win this division my whole life plus a little bit uh pretty brutal but it it looks like that is what's coming our way however i ain't gonna hold my breath because i'm not underwater yet so let's focus on this game against the bears win that line sitting at nine and three let's just keep rolling one week at a time but hey man it's it's there. And then that wild card race, that gets pretty wild. Especially, <laughs> look at that. Especially with the Niners beating Philadelphia. Now you're looking at one, two, three seed. Who's going to land where? So it is very possible that Lions winning the division, we could be playing an in division playoff game here in Detroit. I'm talking against the Packers or the Vikings. I could see it really being the Vikings at this point. I think the Packers are going to win a few more of these games. Vikings are going to pitter-patter out. Maybe they stay in it. Maybe the Rams bump up. The Seahawks are right there. Got a lot of teams sitting at 6-6 six and six right now. I mean, you're looking at Vikings, Packers, Rams, Seahawks, all at 6-6. Six and six. And then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just shy at 5-7. and seven. Saints at 5-7. and seven. So, again, this is where rubber meets the road. It is the hunt for a playoff birth we cannot crown the lions kings of the north quite yet gotta win at least three games to get that but the playoff berth is coming i see it i don't want to get cocky though this defense has got to step up and god when are we getting cj gardner johnson back is that coming because they were talking about a few weeks ago like oh he might be coming back I don't know. Alex Anzalone, still waiting to hear. And Frank Ragnow, haven't heard anything yet. But uh, if you hear anything, drop it in the comments. Let me know. But that is it. That's the playoff picture at the moment where we're sitting December 4th. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, by the way, Blackbird on uh, Apple TV. It's phenomenal. Nailbiter, but it's phenomenal.